All right, we're at Go Math. Um, this is Unit Four, Lesson Five, and what we're talking about is using equivalent ratios to solve problems. So again, when we're talking about ratios, we're comparing two numbers uh, using division. So if we had an equivalent ratio of something along the lines of thirty-six um, ninths, right? We've got thirty-six ninths, and we want to solve that to um, four, right? So 36 ninths to four. Now we can make this into a table and we can start simplifying that way. Uh, if we wanna go down or if we wanna go up, a rate table is a great way to do that. But as we will discuss in class today, we're looking sort of at comparing uh, fractions, right? So if we looked at ratios written in fraction form as just fractions themselves, we would realize that in order to solve for our missing numbers, so let's say I paid $36 for nine shirts, how much did I pay for one shirt? Well, 36 to four, I would divide by nine. And if I'm dividing the top by nine, I need to divide the bottom by nine, which tells me that my missing number is in fact one. So I paid $4 for one shirt. Uh, that would also, since we're going to a unit of one, and we're talking about two different items, we would coincide with the unit rate. So what would something like that look like in our book? So if we moved it to our book, we could say, uh, I'm gonna use equivalent ratios to find the unknown value of 56 40 seconds to a ratio. So uh, 56 40 seconds to a ratio of eight to something else. Well, I understand that if I'm going from 56 to eight over here, I'm going to be dividing by seven. So we're gonna divide the denominator by seven as well. So if whatever I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. And 42 divided by seven will give me six. So again, when I'm dividing each by seven, I would get six. So what this would coincide with is if we need something along the lines of an eight to six ratio, which would again simplify down to a three to four ratio, uh, say I needed three adults to every four students, and I have 56 students, well, I would need 42 adults. So they're comparative, they're equivalent ratios, even though the numbers themselves have changed, the number of the amount of one versus the amount of the other stays the same. So if I were to move this into another example, let's say this one. Two sixths equals how many thirtieths? So I simplify here. How do I go from six to 30? I'm going to multiply by five. Now I could also set this out as a rate table. and say two sixths, which would be four twelfths, which would be six eighteenths, which would be eight twenty-fourths, which would be 12, 30ths and so on and so forth and I realize when I put all those fractions together I in fact have a rate table but if I'm just looking at two equivalent ratios and looking at them as equivalent fractions I know 6 times 5 is 30 and if I multiply the bottom by 5 I have to multiply the top by 5 and I would find that 2 times 5 is 10 so a 2 to 6 ratio is a 10 to 30 ratio so again when I'm looking at equivalent ratios I'm taking my ratio and I'm looking for the missing number because whatever I'm gonna to do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, and whatever I'm gonna to do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. So I can either solve them as equivalent fractions and find a common commonality to get us to a, um, an equivalent such as the, the denominator multiply through or the numerator multiplying through, or I can go ahead and set myself up a rate table until I find the answer 